So if machine learning is so transformative and amazing and open source frameworks are now widely available and you can download models, why hasn't every company applied machine learning and reinvented itself? It turns out that even basic machine learning is still really hard uh, and managing AI projects in a real business is much harder than most people realize when they start out. Machine learning isn't fairy dust that you can just sprinkle on your product and magically make it smart. Uh, and you usually, unfortunately, you can't even plug in off-the-shelf cloud APIs uh, to magically make them intelligent either. There's a lot of work that people don't realize ha uh, has to happen to make that successful. All right, so why is, why is machine learning so hard? Well, you need to collect lots and lots of expensive labeled training data. Most people don't realize it's not just enough to have data. You actually need data paired with a label for most uh, problems. And those labels are often expensive unless you can do something like uh, Google and others would have those CAPTCHAs that you fill out, right? Is, is there a crosswalk in this picture? Things like that. That's you labeling some data. Um, and unless you have the scale to get, the, get those labels at scale, uh, you have to pay for it or you have to do it yourself. So the data, the data transformation, model design, training, tuning, all this are, are still really time consuming and error prone uh, human processes. Uh, the media coverage of AI often focuses on edge cases uh, or AI decisions that went wrong. It's important to remember that although the vast majority of the time, most models will make good predictions, machine learning is at its core a probabilistic approach to problem solving, not deterministic, right? You don't know exactly what it's gonna do when you run it on real data. Um, so you should expect that every machine learning model will fail some percentage of the time. And if the application is a business critical one, you should have monitoring systems in place to detect and handle those failure cases. Software projects usually make progress incrementally, but because they're closer to cutting edge research, uh, they can often stall for weeks at a time, right, where you have no results. And when you implement in production, you, you may actually get worse results than you had uh, before you rolled out the model. Um, so all these things cause a lot, of, a lot of pain. How many people are at an uh, organization where you are doing machine learning? Just for a show of hands. Okay, good number. Wow, this is great. So uh, we all probably have felt this pain. So how do we make it better? Uh, first, let's just be more concrete about the current development process for machine learning that we want to improve. Projects usually start with problem definition, and it's critical you do this upfront work to select the right problem and frame it correctly. Um, model design is still more art than science, uh, although it's becoming easier because of that trend towards open uh, research papers and code. Uh, data collection, labeling, I just mentioned, is often the most time-consuming process, uh, part of the process, uh, but we need better tools for labeling uh, and data management. Uh, following that comes some form of feature engineering. So from the raw data, you're doing a lot of transformations on the data um, uh, to make inputs to your machine learning models, and the tools are, are almost non-existent in that space. Uh, and finally comes model deployment to run on live data. 80% of the real engineering work and pain happens after you deploy your first version of your model. So for companies where you are trying to move to machine learning and you haven't shipped something yet, you have to get there faster because the real learning and real pain comes when these things are in operation.